It's a big day for these homeowners. In a few short hours, they'll be admiring their brand new granite countertops, which we saw being cut to perfection from giant slabs last week during the fabrication process. Granite has gone from basic building stone to king of the countertop, as sales have surged in recent years. Now, I'm not going to be doing any heavy lifting. We're going to leave the installation to the pros. So here we are, back again with our homeowner, Jeanette, and Jonathan from CCS Stone. Jeanette, what do you think? I love it. It's exactly what I wished for. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, so Jonathan, um, wow, your guys out there don't really have to go to the gym, do they? Not when there's heavy granite to carry. <laughs> How much does a, pl a piece like this weigh? Well, inch and a quarter granite weighs between 18 and 20 pounds a square foot, so a piece like this might weigh up to 350 pounds. Wow. How do you keep it safe when you're transporting it from your warehouse to the home? Well, it's very important to transport the stone on edge, prevent it from breaking. So we transport it on the truck on edge, and we carry it in the house on edge. So once you have all the countertops laid out, can you take us through the steps to finish the installation? Sure. Well, we want to make sure that the pieces are all level, and once they're level, we bond them to the cabinet with an adhesive, and we join the seams with an epoxy so they don't separate. And that's uh, kind of a key point, right, because the countertops often arrive in different pieces, but you don't want to be reminded of that. That's true. And a lot of the planning happens in the shop. We plan out the color and the character of the veins and make sure that it makes a nice match. Okay, and then what's the final step? Final step is just uh, cleaning the countertop and then sealing it to prevent stains from moisture and oil. All right, great. Well, thanks for sharing your work Thank with you. us. You'd be surprised how many dramatic and different looks you can create with granite countertop. Let's go check out some more. Now we're here with Antonella Romano, owner of Stone and Tile Emporium in Wyckoff, New Jersey. Now Antonella was the creative force behind all of the stone and tile you see in this kitchen. Um, talk a little bit about some of the finishing touches you put on the, on the room. Absolutely. I'll start with my OG edge mm -hmm. as the main detail. I've taken it, carried around the sink, the same detail. I've added my windowsill. Mm -hmm. I've taken the remnants from the sinks. I've added dots into the backsplash, created a picture frame and a rhomboid, all from the remnants of the sink. Nice. And you also finish underneath the counters, which most people don't do, right? Absolutely. Okay. And you and you don't limit your granite use just to the kitchen. You've done bathrooms in granite, too? Absolutely. Although in the bathrooms, the edges might be a little bit more detailed, a double OG, and perhaps sometimes, as opposed to polished, we do a honed finish to add a little softness. Okay. So talk a little bit about the maintenance of granite countertops. What do people need to look out for? Well. After the main uh, sealing process has taken place, mm -hmm. um, I would advise once a week, a little bit, tiny little secret, a little lemon pledge. Wow, who knew? Yes. Well, one thing's for sure, granite is an outstanding investment no matter what type of finish that you choose. And, and look around your home, what else is there that's virtually maintenance free? Although I suppose the counters don't quite wipe themselves yet. Not yet. No, maybe someday.